Hi, I am Marcel Hess and we are here at the booth of Canon on the IBC 2025 and I'm introducing to you the Canon C50. It's our latest product that we just introduced and it's an entry cinema EOS camera. So it is a dedicated video camera with fans and all the things every videographer ever dreamed of. You get XLR, a handle, you can record simultaneously uh, different formats of the camera and also you get the photo part of it so you can also use it as a regular photo camera but obviously its use is video first. We do have a 32.5 megapixel sensor and the really new part is that we are now recording with open gate so you can record different aspect ratios at the same time on the two cards that are available in the camera. The C50 is the first one that features an open gate sensor, so the aspect ratio of the sensor is 3 by 2 and you can later on crop any format you need for your video production or social media production out of this image. So it makes a really fast and smooth workflow if you're targeting different uh, outputs. Yeah, to, to make the most out of your footage. Um, while recording, for example, 4K in 16 by 9, you can simultaneously record a 17 by 9 um, portrait mode uh, video. So you have basically two recordings at a time. As in most of our cameras, we have two card slots, one CF Express card slot and one SD card slot. And you can either choose to record photos on one card and videos on the other, or different formats on one card and the other formats on the other card, or use it as a relay. So if one card gets full, it will jump to the other card, depending on the format you're recording, because obviously the SD cards are not capable of shooting the highest quality possible. So you can either record an XH-AVC or an XH-HEVC, uh, which are the basically the differences between H265 and 264. So um, you have a really strong and capable um, record formats, which are suitable for basically all the typical cutting suits. And it's also possible to record our um, cinema raw light internally in the camera so that you can use the full potential of the 6K, 7K sensor. Obviously, you can record BT709 as always, and we do have Canon Log 2 and Canon Log 3 within this camera, which offers a dynamic range of 15 stops. Um, so it's a really capable camera. And uh, additionally to this, you can record the um, two HDR formats, PQ and HLG. So right now, um, it has a 32.5 megapixel sensor, so it has a quite high resolution, similar to the um, R6 Mark II. And um, it does not come with an IBIS, neither for photo nor for video, because an electronic image stabilizer in video is much more capable and doesn't cope with wobble in the edges. And so the photo functions um, do have the electronic uh, compensation and also the um, IS in the lenses. And you will get um, 40 frames per second, but you do not have a um, mechanical shutter. So you are going only for electronic shutter. This is because the camera is video first. So it comes within the box with the handle you see here and it's a hot shoe where you get uh, two XLR connectors and you can use the mini jack for the third and fourth audio channel. So it's basically in all of our cameras that we do have four, uh, four channel audio. Um, and the good part is that the handle is easy to attach and detach because you get proper screws and it's solid and robust. Um, you get a microphone holder on top and all this stuff is already in the box. And if you like to, you can use um, the USB-C either for charging or powering up your camera. It's also equipped with USB video class and audio class. And if you connect it to a network cable, you can c control it over the XC protocol and use it, uh, for example, with the Zanus moving head as a large format PTZ. And also we have a large HDMI connector 
so that it's easy to integrate into your system. Yes, actually we do. Um, and one benefit of the open gate sensor is that we support a squeeze of 1.3, 1.5, 1.8 and 2.0. So now you can choose from a really broad range of anamorphotic lenses. And also it is capable of supporting all of our new RF lenses, including the VR lenses or the hybrid ones that we get, which are capable of video and photo for at the same time. Since it's a video first camera, we obviously have a built in fan, which runs either in the automatic or uh, manually, and you can set the, the levels uh, you're willing to accept. And you can also cool it down uh, upfront before recording. So you will not get any issues with overheating uh, in this camera since it's a video first product. The camera will be available in November and the pricing will be 3,799 euros.